Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, there is so much good news and brand new games and brand new announcements and games that I personally am extremely excited for. We also have brand new industry news and a bunch of other cool things as well. And even better, PS5 news coming out today too as well, because we also had two AAA games come out in the past like 48 hours or so for all this stuff. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And there's so much cool stuff going on that we get to go and showcase and talk about and do. So uh, let's go talk about throughout this video. I hope all of you guys have had a great, great day. And as you guys know, when it comes to the start of E3, it makes me extremely excited because it gives us so many brand new games, leaks, and things to look forward to. And well, I want to go and showcase up all this stuff throughout this video. So if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed, especially with the notifications on. We also are giving out a PlayStation 5 console if you guys are subscribed. We also do have the link tree links down below for bonus entries if you guys would like to go and take part of that, as well as have the Amazon links down below for a bunch of cool stuff like the consoles, controllers, Ratchet and Clank, and everything, as well as have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow. We'll probably be playing some uh, actual Ratchet and Clank up on Twitch today, as well later on tonight. And then, of course, the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. And let's go talk about some crazy stuff that's happened today. So first and foremost, I'm sure you guys know about this, but a reminder slash like excitement talk about this. Uh, we actually do have Ratchet and Clank coming out today at 12 o'clock, uh, basically at midnight EST. So I will be definitely going to be streaming that up on Twitch. If you guys want to go and follow that, I'll have that link down below. And I can't wait to go do like maybe like an hour, hour and a half launch party. I also may have a super late night video for anyone who may be awake over there with some Ratchet and Clank, maybe my first like 30 minutes or something like that for the first gameplay. So extremely excited for that as well we also did have the final fantasy remastered uh such we make uh when it comes to the dlc that came out today too as well so both of those things for playstation gamers are extremely extremely hype but one of the more bigger things if i make like a like a good clickbait like oh my god huge ps5 news we actually did actually have a lot of game announcements all throughout today from the summer game fest that I actually co-streamed but as well we also have some pretty cool industry news so if you guys didn't go and hear this on the actual stage itself we actually do have a brand new ip and brand new triple a game game being worked on and like as it was publicly announced today through Sony themselves with Deviation Games and they actually have confirmed that they're now making brand new a AAA game we don't know exactly when or what we'll probably find more information as time goes on but those are always really good and nice information to go and see because it basically means that there's more brand new studios working on really magical games such as Ratchet and Clank you know Horizon etc so very cool stuff very stuff to go and talk about we'll definitely go and try to follow up that story throughout the next few weeks or so we may hear a little more from E3 from Sony's conferences etc but at least either way that's some very very good news but i'm sure a lot of you guys have also seen some other news that i was freaking out about and you guys can leave a comment down below if any of the brand new games from the summer game fest actually were pretty exciting because we'll definitely also have the e3 stuff coming out soon but this one boys let's go let's go talk about it i'm gonna have the the trailer and background shown up here in here as i'm kind of talking over it but i'm sure you guys have seen the this is i'm so excited i was screaming when i saw this news i was so hype you guys can even look at my twitter like live reaction we finally have news boys on elden ring it is finally coming out i am so absolutely excited you guys have no idea if you guys don't know like what this game is like should you be excited or not this is basically uh like this if you guys ever heard of dark souls bloodborne it's basically just that like i'm sure you guys can tell it's made by the same developer same art style and if you guys also saw a lot of the lore from the actual game itself i have like more of like the weeb version up here you guys can watch the normal trailer if you guys would like to uh but you know i'm, I'm a weeb out there there's so much cool stuff about this uh we'll go talk about other games too as well but like it almost looks like an open world dark souls type style game if you guys have never played dark souls game i highly recommend it it usually is a little bit harder of course as a game in general like i mean that's just how it is but that's like the joy of it and the passion of it but this basically has a lot of other things mixed down in with it when it comes to gameplay and stuff uh like it's just literally it's just dark souls it's just the next next gen dark souls we have a little bit of news for it too as well it is coming out in january you guys will probably see the exact date and time uh when it comes to the actual later on throughout the trailer in case you guys are curious it will also be coming out on previous gen but as well also for next gen 2 as well and anyone who does go and buy the previous gen versions will also go and get their own like upgrade too but like the game literally looks well we'll definitely see more as time goes on because it's more of like a trailer but it does look like it's more of a open world-esque type dark souls if you guys have ever played dark souls it usually is a slightly more linear style game but like seeing stuff like a horse in the game we've never had a horse in a dark souls game before 
So it kind of seems like it might be like maybe uh, imagine like a shadow of Colossus with a crossover of some other cool stuff. But I want to hear your comments down below for this because there's a few other games we're going to cover that I'm also extremely excited for. But I want to know if any of you guys are going to be buying this because I will 100% be buying this and playing this day one. Without a doubt in my mind, I will 1 zillion percent be doing this and I'm so extremely excited to get to go play it. Uh, Dark Souls and the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne series is probably some of my favorite series out there. Graphically looks amazing. Gameplay looks amazing. And uh, I feel like we just haven't had a brand new one in quite some time. Besides maybe Sekiro, but that's actually been a little bit of time from now, you know, since now. So I'm so hyped up. This actually does seem like it does showcase up a little bit more of the stealthy mechanics too as well. We also saw like, it, it just seems amazing. Like I think they might actually try to go make this into a more proper next gen game. But I'm so excited. This game was rumored to never go come on out. And we finally got everything for it today. I am so happy about it. And you just can go and tell it's coming out on January 21st. So very good news when it comes to that. I'm so excited. Another one I want to go talk about over here. And I think you guys will also maybe appreciate this because this one was actually one I was not expecting. This is the brand new Borderlands game. Now, this is not necessarily Borderlands itself, like a Borderlands 4. This is just going to be Wonderlands, a brand new like uh, version of the game. If you guys have ever played Borderlands, you have Tiny Tina, which is one of the DLC characters and like like side characters in Borderlands that shows up, you know, in the previous Borderlands games, even in Borderlands 3. And this looks amazing. So I like this because if you guys ever played Borderlands, you kind of have like the gun customization, different types of gun, gun progression, boss hunts usually like a pretty okay story as well. So this is when, when I saw this trailer, I was like, wait, what's going on here? Because uh, I wasn't expecting guns and, dra and dragons in, in all honesty. But, uh, and also Andy Sandberg, I, I wasn't expecting that at all either. But, <laughs> so basically apparently what they were saying, because they had a little bit of a dialogue slash talk on this, there will be magic elements. So you could actually maybe level up different type of magical skills and stuff like that different types of guns, gun progressions, and basically, if you guys have ever went and played Borderlands, you guys can probably go and see how this game's going to be. Probably a little bit wacky, a little bit zany, and is overall probably a pretty fun game to go and experience. There also is a Borderlands movie that's also in the works too as well, in case you guys have also been on the lookout for that. But this was also announced today, which has actually been pretty cool. And also, if you guys have played Borderlands, you guys probably like the good old Tiny Tina for sure. Some other stuff I want to go make a comment on too as well is another game that I think wasn't getting as much press as I was kind of expecting. This game was called Evil Dead, the game. Now, this one actually looked very intriguing. If you guys are curious on the audio, I'm just not playing it for copyright. We also did have Death Stranding too as well. I'll cover that in a second. But we basically had this game where it kind of reminded me of like a weird crossover game because this guy looks very medieval, <laughs> as you guys can tell. Uh, but this kind of reminded me of a game like a Dead by Daylight or maybe Friday the 13th. I'm not sure this actually might be made by the same devs as Friday the 13th. If you guys know more about this game or the lore of the game, feel free to let me know. Uh, but basically, this game looked very intriguing and kind of I've really actually always enjoyed the Dead by Daylight type style games. I'm not sure, though, because this actually has like those look like NPCs, not like real characters or whatever. But uh, you guys can see like you and your friends will team up as classic evil dead people and you'll go in like, I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how the gameplay style is going to be for this game, but it looked kind of gruesome. Look kind of fun. I like the graphic style on all of this, and it seemed good enough. But like, this is where the car that reminds me of Friday the 13th <laughs> for this is the car driving and the angles and all that. But uh, yeah, basically, I think this kind of seems like it's more of like a maybe a Dead by Daylight type style game. So I'm kind of intrigued on it overall, like, you know, hunting your friends, hunting like and like overall people type fight type style game. But yeah, it seems very interesting and kind of a cool announcement mixed as well. And I do want to go make a quick note, too. We did actually have a few other side games as well. There was a lot of indie games also showcased. One one I think especially I think a lot of people would probably like would be more on Salt and Sacrifice, which is made by the same people from Salt and Sanctuary, which I actually played a little bit uh, back in the day. Not an overall bad game, I would go and say. And there also was a few other indie games. There was some Warzone announcements, a new, a brand new Fall Guys character for like your little bean. Uh, they had like the Nier Autonoma character for that. And a few other little mixture of small things put on in. We had a little bit of Nintendo news. We also had new Tales news for any of the RPG fans out there. Tales is probably one of my favorite RPG series out there in general. So some you guys know on that, that's actually out there. And a few other little baby bits and pieces of some like new DLCs, some Amiibos and all that stuff kind of float on in. And I think the very, very last one besides this one will be on the Death Stranding. And this is where we kind of get a little bit excited when it comes to all of the PlayStation 5 homies out here. Because I think you guys will probably go and appreciate this. I think we should be okay to play audio on this one. I said something out. 
But if you guys have ever played Death Stranding, this is also one of my favorite games out there that I've ever played. Very good, very well made game. I know it was a little bit of uh, mixed signals. Some people didn't like it, didn't love it. I personally thought the gameplay was kind of eh, but the storytelling and story and like lore was phenomenal. I actually really liked it. I liked the lores. I like the, you know, I've watched the entire movie twice. I played through the game twice, so I really appreciate it. But as you guys know, for some odd reason, like Kojima kept on, had a really weird talk. When he, if you guys saw, you guys probably know what I mean. Uh, but basically, they were kind of hinting a lot of Metal Gear Solid type vibes off of all of this. As you guys can tell, because in de the normal Death Stranding, this was never in any game at all. So I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be changing or adding for the director's cut. We did go hear about some DLC a while back though as well. Uh, but if you guys see this in a few seconds, you guys will see the Fragile mention as well as also the you know Metal Gear Solid mention. But this was also announced for the PlayStation 5. We actually had some pretty good, as you guys saw, pretty good PlayStation announcements. For the brand new studio we mentioned, a few games we mentioned, uh, Elden Ring as well. I mean, it's also on other cross-gen too, don't get me wrong. But this, especially for PS5, I was a big fanboy of this game, and I did enjoy it. And I also love little BB on his chest over there. And just wait for this. Like, I almost feel like I should stop talking for a second, let you guys go and experience up the trailer. So let me do that. When I, dude, when I saw this live, I was I was just laughing so hard. <laughs> he, 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 he just seen this again. <laughs> <laughs> basically we have the director's edition i'm not sure what's going to change or not from it but at least it's looking really really good and we did actually have a, i thought this was a really good day for games and i can't wait for the next five or six days out there for e3 to get to go and talk about this stuff even more so i hope you guys are all excited especially for the next upcoming days let me know if you guys are going to pick up any of the games you listed down below i try my best to go pick up all the best ones out there for all of you guys so i hope you guys all enjoyed it let me know what your favorite ones are off all that stuff and I got to be honest, Pump Mine's probably going to be uh, probably Wonderlands and as well, Evil Dead. And of course, obviously, Elden Ring. But I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Definitely go sub if you guys are new and you guys want to see some E3 coverage and all that good stuff. All the Amazon links down below for the solid stuff. Make sure you guys are sub for the PS5 giveaway. Twitter and Twitch stream a link down below. And of course, the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys get free stock, free money. Go ahead and basically you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. And I love you guys all so much for watching.